Welcome back to uh, Python with Andrew. And we're going to continue our look into file reading and writing. And I, in my last video, I talked about using the uh, JSON or the JavaScript object notation as our file format and reading that into a dictionary and how powerful that was and how simple that was. I'm going to extend that and let's, um, uh, if you like, make it into a, a way of, of developing some code. And this introduces us to that sort of iterative development, version one, version two, version three. And I'm going to show you how using this sort of uh, structure is really easy because I don't have to change my data structure uh, externally or my file structure, et cetera. Um, I can just, if you like, add to it as I develop uh, the system. So let's show an example of that. Uh, and you'll see how, how easy it is to do. Let me go over to my... Um, trusty code and I've just copied the code from uh, the last one and I'm going to extend this um, so I'm going to call this a configuration application and I've taken the two um, functions that I built in the last video load configuration and save configuration and they basically say to us to a file that you want, the dictionary that you're working on, which might con contain configuration uh, information in, let's say, a game. And if I go over to my text file uh, over here, this is the information we have, a very, very basic configuration uh, at this stage, nothing fancy about that at all. But we're going to see how we can develop that going forward. And it's really quite easy. I'm not going to change the configuration. Uh, in fact, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to um, load in the configuration. I'm going to go from player one dot text. And I'm going to print that out. Uh, just that sort of gets us back to square one just to see what we're looking working at as you can see nothing fancy i've just printed out uh if you like our configuration so let's imagine that that was version one of our game and we we did our game and and uh we're we're really happy we we loaded in we instead of printing we're doing stump something and then uh, later on at the end of the um, game we save the configuration with the um same file name, probably should have made this a variable and player one, right? But so version one, very simple. So let's assume now that I've decided to improve my game. My game uh, not only has a level, but we're going to, if you like, allow the person to pick up items uh, that they might use in some sort of way in, in this game. And when they pick them up, I'm just going to add them to my player dictionary, right? So I'm going to just player uh, one dot update, and I'm going to add um, <coughs> another field. In this case, high score three hundred and fifty. So I've added that um, to my player one dot. Let's see why I got that one wrong. Oh, I forgot a colon uh, quote there. So the first thing I'm going to do is just add a simple score. All right? um, and I've just added it to uh, the dictionary. And I'll uh, save that. I'm going to run that. And you can see it brings it in uh, like it did before. If I run it again, you can see that the next time through, uh, the high score is in my file. So far, so good. And then let's say I don't I finished. Um, I want to don't want, don't want to keep doing that over and over again. But now I'm going to give the player one some items. And in this case, the items again is a dictionary. I'm adding to the dictionary. But um, this is it's going to be a a list of items. So. Um, the items are going to be a hammer and a rock. 
Again, nothing special about my items, but it just shows you that I can have a dictionary with a list of items um, with one of the attribute, one of the keys. Uh, so now if I run this, oh, I get an error because um, I can't spell. So let me let me change my spelling. Update there. Player one, don't update, and hopefully that's a bit better. Yes. So if I run it again, it should now show me uh, my configuration is getting a bit more complex because I've just added it. I haven't changed the load, the save. And in fact, when I jump over now and look at my player one, you can see the configuration is growing. Right? And the beauty is that I don't have to worry about the data structure. I'm just using a simple uh, dictionary as my data structure. Right? So uh, that's quite nice. Now, some people at this point might say, but wouldn't you use something like an object and object oriented programming? And my answer is probably yes, uh, but we haven't covered that yet. So we'll leave that for another day. At this stage, we're just keeping uh, player one as a very, very simple data structure that we can add to over and over and over again. And in fact, I can uh, add a much even more complex, I'll copy this because I've saved it previously. So let's assume now that I um, have done that. Now my next version of the game, we add friends. So if you come across a friend and the friend uh, as a key or a, an attribute, uh, it is a uh, list itself because right? you can have many friends. In this case, we have a name, advice. Uh, so we've got more attributes. So you can see that the data structure is getting more and more complex. But as far as I'm concerned, my version just said, I'm going to add friends to my game. And I'm going to add friends. I'm just going to add it to the uh, data structure uh, of play, player one. And I'm going to use it in the game. And then at the end, I want to save the configuration. So now if I uh, do this, let me clear this just to make it clearer. And run it twice to make sure I can show you. All right. And you can see that the data structure is a bit more complex uh, there. Uh, but again, I've done nothing uh, nothing difficult. If I jump over to my player one uh, data structure, external data structure, really, really quite um, good that it's just adding and adding and adding uh, that data structure. And that sort of approach, uh, as I mentioned before, is a really useful way of thinking of developing your program. If you have a data structure that's very flexible, and you've got a way of getting it uh, into and out of files very, very easily, we can develop our program. And first program, very, very simple. It, it, I think we started off with um, my name and, and a level, uh, that's all I had. Then we added a high score and we added items and then we added friends and we could keep going and there'd be other code associated with that. But the important thing is my data structure is really quite flexible number one. And number two, my reading and writing was easy because I'm using JSON and I'm using a method uh, there. And I have not changed that all the way along. Uh, all I've done is continually adding to that uh, data structure. Very, very hard to do if you had a data structure like um, an Excel file or if you have a data structure <coughs> like a comma separated file or a database, et cetera, or uh, an SQL database but very, very easy to do in this sort of format. And that's why a lot of modern programmings use this format uh, for configuration information. And as we see, where there are plenty of databases where we can actually add that information uh, uh, to. And uh, no SQL databases like MongoDB, and we'll cover that in, in the future, um, where we take this concept uh, and that flexibility and it makes for programming and developing much, much easier, mainly because you don't start off with trying to solve everything in the program. You, you start off with a very simple version one, and then version two, version three, version four, et cetera, uh, and, and people can add to it from there. Okay, worth practicing. Add your own data structure in there. Practice the, uh, the reading and writing files. And uh, stay tuned because we'll take this example and do some more uh, with it later.